All right, we're seeing a nice rally in the North American equity markets. Uh, the Dow is up by 271 points, so close to the highs of the day. The TSX also up nicely, 105 points. A lot going on in the markets. These markets continue to rally. With uh, some insight, joining us now is Diana Avigdor, Portfolio Manager and Head of Trading at Barometer Capital Management. Diana, good to be with you today. You and I were talking just during the commercial break. You said it is uh, really quite busy. What, what exactly is going on? Why are we seeing this real pickup from the morning in terms of the trading activity. It's very busy December, much uh, much higher uh, volumes and activity feels like than many other years. Of course, it's an election year and we just had an election, I get it. But also we've had so many one-sided flows in the last few years that are just starting to unglue now for the first time, really. We're seeing some bond market outflows into equity uh, inflows, so there's lots of money on the sidelines. We've been talking so much about how much money on the sidelines that was not participating in the market. And so now it's, it's kind Kind of coming in and December uh, is busier than we thought. We have economic data. We have ECB uh, tomorrow. We had Bank of Canada today. We have a world that's uh, trying to attempt itself at reflation. Hmm. So where are you seeing the, that? That's interesting, though, that you mentioned that uh, that you're seeing bond money move into the equity market. You're really seeing that because this is the great rotation that everybody talked about was going to happen two, three years ago. But you're, you're saying it's happening now. We're looking at uh, EFPR data and Lipper data and all kinds of services that look at flows. Uh, we're, we're, that's what that's what they're telling us they're seeing. Uh, we're seeing it in the ETF market as well. Um, uh, we're hearing it from the trading desk, ETF trading desks, uh, when they do their end of day flows. Um, and so um, we're, I, we're seeing it, yes. Mm -hmm. We're seeing all the bond proxies. We're seeing, for example, into the financial, we see metrics such as uh, you know, money that has flown, uh, that has come in through various um, various uh, products, be it uh, ETFs or actual flows. We see it in terms of trading desk flows. But when we compare it to historical uh, short uh, exposure, we see that financials are uh, lower short exposure than they have been historically, and yet a lot of money has flown into it. So you say, well, so they can't be all short covering. It's got to be some real money. Okay, so you're definitely seeing money flow into the financials. What about other? areas what what is an area a go-to area for a lot of money that needs to be put to work yeah so we're seeing some flows going into the retail sector now that is still high short interest relative to history so there could be some short covering there instead of real new money but I suspect that that's the first leg as we look at markets and stocks and sectors that benefit let's say from a better or more, or more favorable uh, U.S. taxation regime, for example, that would be some of the retailers uh, in the U.S. We're seeing flows definitely into the energy sector. Uh, Canadian energy players are get benefiting from uh, global flows now, and uh, with the really? Canadian, yes. Let, let, let's go down that path for a moment, yeah. then. So you you are actually seeing you think global money managers move into Canadian energy names. I think that Canadian energy names, when when a global manager wants to increase their exposure into uh, a sector, a commodity sector, particularly an energy sector, I think that part of his investment or her investment will be some Canadian companies as well. Hmm. And so to the extent that our market is not that large, really, um, a lot of, you know, say, U.S. money, uh, which is very big relative to our market, so it makes a difference. Diana, for our viewers at home who, you know, if you think about it for the past number of years, the best trades have been the ones that uh, have the higher dividend payers, higher dividend paying stocks. Some of those valuations are at 20 times. That's much higher than historical for uh, consumer staples, for utilities, all these places where so many investors and viewers were hiding out in. Um, is that a concern for you? Would you suggest to move away from those areas? What's, what's really at risk here? Um, I totally understand the question, and a lot of people needed to have income. Uh, I mean, low rates, who, who did low rates punish? Low rates punish the savers. They need some income. Moving into the bond proxies and those that pay dividends, um, that has been that pushed valuations, to your point, absolutely. Now, once we move and we shift the paradigm around a little bit, if you can get income from a traditional investment vehicle that has less risk than an equity mm -hmm. with a payout, actually the way it should be, mm -hmm. then you can now focus on companies, businesses 
and they that that grow internally as well doesn't mean they don't pay out a dividend they can certainly pay out the dividend look at our banks right okay fantastic but you can balance that out a little bit i feel that it was unbalanced a lot of money went into the bond market a lot of money went into these bond proxies um, and and pushed valuation that's risky too mm -hmm. have I, I know you guys have been quite fully invested for throughout the course of all of these uncertainties and un unknowns um, if you had money to work are you putting more money to work if I if I wasn't invested this whole year I would put half my money to work now and half my money to work in the first quarter of 2016 year-end Lots of performance chase. Things are making new 52-week highs. Internal market breadth is fantastic. Economic uh, economic uh, data is coming in okay. okay. The news is positive. But come January, February, I would have some to also kind of balance it out. Understood. Dana, good to speak with you. Thank you. Thanks, Catherine. Mm -hmm.